Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into one of the most popular and versatile IC in electronics, the 555 timer IC. Stay tuned as we break down its working, different modes and even build a simple project with it. So without further ado, let's get started. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. The 555 Timer IC is a highly stable and useful integrated circuit that can function as a timer, pulse generator, or oscillator. It consists of transistors, resistor, and comparator that work together to produce accurate timing pulses. It has 8 pins, ground, VCC, trigger, output, reset, control voltage, threshold, and discharge pin. Don't worry, we'll explain how each of these pins work in different modes. The name 555 comes from the three internal 5K resistors that are used in voltage divider circuit. These resistors create reference voltages for the two internal comparators, allowing the IC to function reliably in different modes. The internal structure of 555 timer consists of a voltage divider with three resistors, two comparators, an SR flip-flop, a discharge transistor, an output stage. The 555 timer consists of 8 pins. Each pin has a specific function. Pin 1, which is the ground pin, connects to the ground. Pin 2, the trigger pin, starts the timing cycle when voltage drop below one third of VCC. Pin 3, the output pin, outputs the timing signal high or low state. Pin 4, the reset pin, reset the timer when pulled low. Pin 5, the control voltage pin, modifies the internal reference voltage. Pin 6, threshold pin, ends the timing cycle when voltage exceeds two-thirds of VCC. Pin 7, the discharge pin, connects to the ground to discharge the timing capacitor. Pin 8, VCC pin, powers the IC, typically 4.5 to 15 volt. The 555 timer can operate in three main modes, monostable mode, A-stable mode, and bi-stable mode. In monostable mode, it acts as a one-shot pulse generator where a single pulse is generated when triggered. A stable mode generates a continuous square wave output making it useful in oscillators and clock signals. In bistable mode, it works as a flip-flop where the output switches between two stable states upon external triggers. Let's build a simple circuit using the 555 timer in a stable mode to blink an LED. We connect pin 1 to ground, pin 8 to VCC and use two resistors and a capacitor to set the timing of the pulse. And there you have it, a simple blinking LED circuit using 555 timer. The LED blinks at a frequency determined by the resistors and capacitor values. You can change the resistor or capacitor to modify the blinking speed. that's a wrap on today's video 
The 555 Timer IC is incredibly powerful component that can be used in tons of projects. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome electronic tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.